I mean, like it or not, our small town is growing and we gotta get over it. So I wanna make this vlog um, and I don't wanna, I don't want it to be negative. I mean, well, I guess it's going to be negative. I'm not sure what it's going to be. Because I, uh, first off, I want to say I love our small little town, Lytle, Texas, okay? Um, but there's some things that, to me, need to change. Because my wife and I keep thinking about moving to San Antonio for so many different reasons. We're like, why are we staying here? And obviously, like I said, there's a lot of, I, I love the stars at night. I love the, it's very peaceful in Lytle. But there's also a lot of things that I cannot stand. And... Those are some of the things I'm going to talk about today. And like I said, I'm not trying to offend anyone. Um, I hope you understand. I want to know what y'all think about this also. Because little things like all these fast food restaurants that are coming up. <laughs> I mean, we have a Burger King coming into our small little town. Why do we need a Burger King? I know I look like I eat a lot of Burger King, okay? But I haven't eaten Burger King since I was like freaking 12 years old. And we have a Taco Bell. We got Bill Miller. I mean... Why do we need these? And why are we getting good restaurants? Why aren't we growing as a community? Why do we keep staying small like this? Um, I mean, like it or not, our small town is growing and we gotta get over it. To see uh, the growth that you and I have talked about, at the time, it's tough to bring in a restaurant like that because they they serve liquor and Lytle has an ordinance on the liquor being served within the city limits, right? They'll sure. allow beer, they're, they'll allow wine, but they won't uh, allow or function with, uh, you know, hard liquor. Something. That's what's keeping so all the bigger chains out of Lytle. That's exactly right. That right there would bring a huge, um, you know, different market to our small town. And you're going to have bigger restaurants want to come here that you could actually take your family to and enjoy yourself. It seems like our local leadership has an old mindset uh, when it comes to growth. Um, I was told to get the Lido Leader News um, to be more involved with the City Council, with uh, Chamber of Commerce, just you know, meetings and things like that. Because really, when it comes down to it, we have no idea what the hell we're talking about. We can just give our opinion like everyone else, but we all really need to be involved. But this is some good news. A few days later, like I said, booze on the Lido ballot. That is a good sign. And so they're talking about, I guess they're gonna have to vote on it. So this needs to pass one way or the other. I will drive you down there if you need to vote, whatever it takes, let's make this happen. Um, Lytle's growing, that's what this article talks about. If you haven't read it yet, you gotta read it uh, for sure. And thank you, Steven Santana for writing this. I appreciate it, it's awesome. So they're anticipating over a thousand new homes coming into Lytle. That's the rumor on the street. Uh, so this has to be passed because, uh, you know, I like a good brewery. Oh, if we had a brewery in Don Grand Brewery in, in Lido, would that be freaking awesome? Something like the Pearl. Okay. And, a, and a bread shop. And a, mm. a bread shop, and yeah. And a bookstore. And a bookstore. Okay. But everyone likes different things. Everyone has their own opinion on what they like, and, and uh, it's, it's cool to talk about, and it's fun to talk about. We're not the only one on that train of thought, uh, for sure. And... Um, I hope to be more involved, I want to be more involved, and I hope this video doesn't come across, like I said, negative or like that, because I think it should be super positive, it's something we need to talk about, and something we need to uh, get involved, because that's the thing, the pride in Lytle has kind of gone away, and, and, and you know, a little bit, maybe? Was it ever there? Was, Don, whoa. So a lot needs to be done between now and May 2020 to, uh, you know, obviously to get this done, and um, anyway. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. This is a totally different video than I normally make, but I'm going to stay on top of this, give you all updates. Um, it's Josh Walker Vlogs. Please, please subscribe and uh, would love uh, for you all to follow along. Like I said, it's usually a family vlog here, but it's a little different today. And uh, Lido Leader News, it'd be awesome if you all had an app we can just log on to and read the paper and I'd pay 
a dollar a month or whatever it may be to anyway you'll have a great day we'll talk to you soon bye